Hi everyone. Uh, today uh, we want to talk about uh, arc and uh, curve. It's the second lesson about chapter two. Lesson uh, two, uh, page two hundred twenty-eight, uh, about uh, arc and curve. What is arc and curve? Uh, if we have a circle, circle C for example, x y is a segment, and also b i c b i is a segment, c b is a segment. CI is signal, but it is different than now. CB and CI is a radial, of course, you know, because uh, intersect or connect between uh, center and each point is on a circle, so it's a radius. Now, we have IB, IB is a curve, and XY is also is a curve, but we need just IB. IB is a curve, IB, segment IB is a curve, but curve IB, curve IB, this dotted line, this dot line, IB is an arc, no, is curve. IB, this line is, this line is curve. This IB is a curve, IB is a curve, and XY also is a curve, and XY also is curve. Or you can say curve, but it's curve. And XY is also a curve. But I said I need just IB because IB is, it has a relation with uh, arc IB. So straight line IB is a curve, about curve IB is said is arc. Now we need arc. About we talk about arc. Measure of central angle measure it has a relation between this arc, this arc and this central angle. It's a central angle. We have a relation between this arc and this central angle. Measure of central angle equal to measure of central angle equal to measure of opposite arc. Also, measure of opposite arc, measure of this arc, measure of arc IB equal to measure of opposite central angle. Same thing. But how can find the measure of central angle? When you have measure of central angle, that means you have measure of arc, like this question. This question, all it is required question, all is, all is arc. Uh, the circle is divided into five, and the circle is defined in second figure, second graph. And the figure, and the circle, this circle, is divided into five parts. One, two, three, four, five. Five congruent parts. That's when we find divided into five equal parts. Find the measure of each arc, each arc. That means it's all arc. This scale is the symbol of an arc. But if the ray is changed to a straight line, so it is segment. But the required question is arc, no segment or no curve. So, how can I find measure of BC, uh, arc BC, arc CDH, arc uh, CHN? By using this form. This form, measure of central angle equal to measure of opposite arc. That's the measure of each arc equal to measure of opposite central angles. So to find, we need a fine measure of central angle. Of course, in the last lesson, you know about in a chapter four, how come uh, chapter four, five, how can we find central angle about polygons, regular polygons. Central angle equal to 360 over number of parts. Uh, for example, this, this circle divided to five parts, so 360 divided five. Now, how can we find Measure of arc BC, measure of arc C, BH, and CH. So, first of all, find central angle. One central angle equal to another central angle. Central angle, measure of central angle, central angle, C, this symbol is central angle, equal to 360 divide, 360 divide 5. 360 divide 5 equal to 72 degree. Why 72? 360 divide 5. 360 divide 5 equal to 7. 7 times 5, 35. 360 minus 35, 1 remain. Put down 0. 10 divide 5, 2. 2 times 5, 10, 0, 0. So, central angle equal to 72. So it is 72, 72, 72. 72 
uncertainty to all because let's just say uh, divided into five congruent parts. That means five equal parts. I said congruent. That means equal. Now measurement of this RBC. Where is BC? Uh, RBC is C. So BC. Measure of arc BC, this are equal to measure of opposite central angle. Measure of opposite central angle, what is? 72. That means measure of arc BC equal to measure of central angle, measure of central angle BMC. BMC. Measure symbol and M is small, but M capital, that means is an angle, so Measure of angle BC. Measure of angle BMC equal to 72. That means measure of arc BC equal to 72. Measure of arc CDH. Where is CDH? CDH. CDH. C arc CDH is made, uh, added two parts. Part 1 and part 2. That means CDH equal to arc CD plus arc D H arc C D arc C D opposite to this central angle equal to 72 so 72 and arc D H D H opposite to this central angle also equal to 72 means all time measure of arc equal to measure of central angle measure over opposite angles so 72 plus 72 2 2 4 Seven seven fourteen one hundred forty four degree. Measure of last uh, required C H N about this question C H N C H N. So it has four parts C D H N C. You can see it C H N or C D H N. Also it's true. C H N equal to summation three. Summation three central angles seventy two plus seventy two plus seventy two seventy two plus seventy two plus seventy two equal to three times seventy two three three times seventy two three times two is six three times seven twenty seven twenty one and six so three times two is twenty one so two hundred and sixty. 260. So it's a measure of CDH. Now, if you have problem, if you have a question, you can tell me. If no, uh, start to the second theorem. Theorem, uh, theorem of a perpendicular diameter. No question, it's easy. Just we have uh, arc and central angle. Measure of arc equal to measure of central angle. Measure of central angle is easy to find measure of central angle equal to 360 divine number part. For example, about its five part, five equal part, uh, central angle equal to 360 divide 5 equal to 72. Now second theorem, theorem of perpendicular diameter. Perpendicular diameter. You have this figure, about this figure. Uh, IB, IB is a diameter. IB is a diameter. CB is a radius or C and C I is a radius, X Y is a chord. I said X Y is a chord. X Y is a chord. X Y is a chord. So I B is a diameter and C B is a radius. C B is a radius. X Y is a chord and X Y by this symbol is uh, this line, this line is a chord. But we change this line to this curve, so it is R. X Y is a chord. But curve xy, curve xy is an arc. You, you can determine by dotted line, by this. So it is arc. Now, which is the relation between um, diameter, this diameter, and this uh, chord, and this arc? Chord xy and arc xy. IB, I said IB is perpendicular to segment xy. I be perpendicular to chord or segment xy. At which point? At which point? I point D. This is a point D. Point D. Then, when diameter, when diameter perpendicular over chord, 
where diameter or where radius, you can say diameter IB perpendicular over XY. You can say radius CB perpendicular over segment or chord XY too. So segment XY perpendicular over uh, segment IB perpendicular over segment or chord XY at the then we have two things. Then XD segment segment XD X2D equal to segment D2Y. Uh, XD equal to DY. And also arc XB, arc XB equal to arc BY. Arc XD equal to arc 2Y. So we have two points. Now about exercise, exercise, same exercise, uh, six tool. Find each nearest, uh, nearest tense. Nearest, find each nearest, uh, to the nearest tense. Uh, question five, find RS. RS. Where is RS? RS. This is is, is R, R S. How can find segment R S? How can find segment R S? Find each segment, so that's mean about question, let's take this question jump on. Question 5, find the segment, is, that's mean R S. How can find R S when N S, N S is given? N S. This, N. this symbol, uh, this point, interesting point is N. N S it is uh, center, P is center, but N, N is a point to perpendicular line, Q, QN perpendicular over RS at N. So N is perpendicular point. How can find RS when N is equal to 5? Since, about an answer. Use this form. Uh, or this one use uh, since x is, uh, or qn qn perpendicular over perpendicular over rs is given perpendicular over rs then when uh, when a radius or diameter when a radius or diameter perpendicular over xy for example, Q, Q, N, or Q, Q perpendicular over RS, then X, then X D equal to DY. That means R N equal to N S. Then R N equal to N S. And N S equal to 5 is given. So R S required question, but R S, R S equal to summation two parts. Summation R is equal to Rn plus Ns. Rn plus Ns. Rn of Ns equal, so you can say two Rn, or you can say Rn equal to S and Sn equal to five. So you can substitute. Equal to five plus five. Five plus five equal to 10. That means segment R S then segment R S equal to ten. So it is finished.